Suffolk County's new police commissioner hopes he can help bring an end to a mystery that nobody else has managed to solve. It has been now a decade since Shannon Gilbert's body was found at Gilgo Beach. Since then, authorities discovered 10 more bodies. So far, no arrests. As Darla Miles reports, the search for the killer continues. Uh, just of what I've seen so far, there's some uh, great leads that are putting us in a great place to solve this case. December 2011 marks the 11 year anniversary of the Gilgo Beach serial killer case. The grisly discovery of human remains that belong to women, a man and even a child along extremely remote beaches in Suffolk and Nassau counties. Incoming Police Commissioner Rodney Harrison visited the scene Friday morning, jumping right into the infamous cold case of finding out who dismembered and dumped 11 bodies. This on his very first week on the job. A lot of great work was done so far, but did, yes, are there some things that we still need to do? Absolutely. The 30 year vet and former NYPD chief of department was selected to lead Suffolk police earlier this month. It was just one day after the 10 year anniversary of the discovery of Shannon Gilbert's body. It was during a search for her that police found the other victims. However, Gilbert has never been officially linked to the case. You know, this is one of the things as an investigator in the NYPD that we've always done. Take a look at the incidents, take a look at this at the location, at the crime scene to kind of get a better better idea of exactly what may need to be done. Last January, the FBI joined the investigation, releasing a picture of a belt they believe belonged to the serial killer or killers to try to generate more tips. But still, there has yet to be a big break in the case. There's a commitment, a relentless pursuit to identify the individuals and bring them to justice. And that's for the family members to hear. And Harrison says he's already listened to 911 calls placed by Gilbert on what is believed to be the night of her murder. There has been some pressure to release those tapes, and he says he will consider it as long as it doesn't hinder the investigation.